Now breaking news from overnight. The Biden administration made a huge announcement just after two this morning. Certain spouses of U.S. citizens without legal status could eventually get U.S. citizenship. CBS 8's Virginia Yarita live near the border with more details on this plan as well as reaction to it. Regina? Yeah, good morning, Eric and Netta. I can tell you that this new policy is for immigrants to apply uh, for a work permit as well as a uh, deportation protections. Now, this is only for those who have been in the U.S. for at least 10 years and are married to a U.S. citizen. It solely focuses on those who have already hit that 10 year mark. So if you are hitting that mark after today's announcement, you do not qualify. But let's get into it. This is the policy. Uh, well, if upheld in court would be the largest government program for undocumented immigrants since DACA. President Biden is expected to announce the measure at a White House event today. He's also slated to announce another move to make it easier for employees uh, to sponsor dreamers and other undocumented immigrants for work visas. There's already pushback because of this new policy. Republican senators are criticizing the new policy, some calling it a huge magnet for would be immigrants and adding that would, it would only attract even more people to the border. Meanwhile, immigration attorneys are cautiously optimistic. They want to learn more about a policy that could allow nearly 500,000 migrants to apply for what is known as parole in place. This is very big. It's been years in the making. It's basically going to work like a military parole. And of course, this is the second time that President Joe Biden has taken a sweeping and legally risky executive action on immigration. In the next half hour, we'll hear more from this immigration attorney and what he thinks about this support and pushback getting uh, coming from Republican led states as well as Democrats. For now, that's latest here near the border. I'm Regina Yurita, CBS 8.